that I was meditating this week about what I would bring for today's communion message, I was also faced with just the normal challenges that we all face in life and as Christians. Personal challenges, helping, helping with family challenges, and finally just a flat out crazy work schedule. I worked yesterday, I could have worked this morning, air quotes, to get caught up. <laughs> I almost called David Blagg last night to have him or someone else take today's communion leave. What stopped me was the fact that I truly need to be here. And with you all to share in this communion, your fellowship to refocus, recommit, and recharge. I was reminded myself that I need to stop, give thanks for Jesus, and just to honor God. And that was even reaffirmed walking into the, the door today, hearing great news from Virginia on some of the cases she's worked on, the progress, seeing Aaron, seeing Jim, Sarah, Diane, all of you, right? That, that's what's important. Just singing today, um, you know, one of the song choices, to God be the glory, that's true, right? Mm -hmm. So today, we're going to look at just uh, four quick verses as we um, reflect on Jesus' death and take, the, take communion and, and commemorate the Lord's Supper. I'm going to read two quick verses from John chapter 6, verse 26 and then 35. That passage says, Jesus answered, Truly I tell you, and to give you context, this is after... Um, he fed, I think, one of the, the multitudes there, the loaves and the fish there. So that's kind of context of what preceded this verse. Jesus answered, for Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and you had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, God the Father has placed the seal of approval. So what this says to me, and hopefully to you, is through Jesus and his death, his sacrifice, we are set free from sin, not just forgiven for our sin. Through Jesus, we can put our earthly burdens on God and know that through his will, we will always be provided for physically and spiritually. And Jesus further affirms this in chapter, I'm sorry, chapter 6, verse 35, that same passage. Jesus declares, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never go thirsty. Another parallel passage, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, two verses again, 16 and 17. It is not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks. A particular, I'm sorry, let me go over it. It is, is not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ, and is not the bread that we break a participation in the body of Christ. Because there is one loaf, Jesus, we who are many are one body. We all share the one loaf, that's Jesus. As Christians, we share the greatest gift of all, that's Jesus. Let us all give thanks. Our Father in heaven, Thank you so much for sending your son to be the one whom we go through to you and everlasting life. We thank you for the grace and peace we have. We thank you for Jesus and his sacrifice. Thanks so much for this bread that represents his broken body. Help, help us all to recommit and recharge and recommit to you. Thanks for Christ your son.
pray for them, pray for them. Our Father in heaven, again, we come before you. We thank you so much for sending Christ your Son who shed his precious blood, which is a symbol of that new covenant which we all now share in through him. Thank you for it. Help us to take of this and the bread and 